Hello, welcome to this cake session. This is my first cake. It is a carrot and pineapple cake. So here you can see we it is all made from scratch. Frosting and all the base, everything is homemade. And you can see how nicely soft it is so let's start baking this cake at home it's very easy so to start baking carrot cake first step is to start our oven and here i'm going to start my this mini oven in the baking mode and around 350 degree Fahrenheit which is 180 degrees Celsius so let's preheat this oven and then uh, we will start next preparation so let's see what are the ingredients we need here for our carrot cake I have taken here around 200 gram all-purpose flour maida and then here have almost half a teaspoon cinnamon powder dalcini quarter teaspoon salt namak and here i have taken half teaspoon baking soda and quarter teaspoon of baking powder so these are my in dry ingredients so i will add all these ingredient into this bowl and now it's time to mix slowly so we have to mix all these two together and next uh, for the dry so this is my dry ingredient and now I will show you the wet ingredients so for that I'm taking here uh, three small eggs I have three eggs here small if you have larger egg maybe two is enough and this is the vegetable oil it's around one ounce which is a 30 ml around 30 ml and here I have brown sugar one bowl brown sugar and we'll take some vanilla extract around half quarter teaspoon so first part and yes sugar is our wet ingredient so first sugar I will add then oil will go here and then we have to add the eggs so let's uh, add the egg all three eggs will go here number next and one more so I'm going to make a two batch of this one so this is all ingredients is for one batch and then we'll add around quarter teaspoon vanilla extract this vanilla extract that's it yes and next uh, here I have some more ingredient which is a uh, carrot so I have already grated this carrot kadukas gajar around uh, 85 gram and uh, here I have this is very unique thing which I am adding here which is a pineapple ananas 
this uh, small pieces of ananas they create very good taste and I have some raisins which is Christmas so let's uh, start mixing uh, so here my dry ingredient is ready and now it's time to mix this uh, wet ingredients For the carrots, I am using these uh, small uh, carrots, mini carrots. I already grated this one. And here. So we need to keep mixing. Once it will be really nice, mix it. Then we will start adding the all purpose flour mixture. You need to mix really nice. Keep shaking. Now I can see um, after mixing, I can see some of the uh, brown sugar is still left. The important thing is this here, you can see I did not add any water. So this cake need not any water. Now it's ready and then we'll add um, this uh, dry ingredient into wet one and slowly. So we have to add slowly and then keep mixing. We will see how much we can adsorb. And there should not be any lump. So that is why we need to keep mixing nicely. Now you can see there are some bubbles are coming and it's still it is uh, very liquidy so we'll add some more. This will be better if uh, we can use any strainer and uh, add slowly this uh, like this. So there will be no here you can see this is all big big junk it will be gone. So it would be better if we can strain our dry ingredient in mixing with this one so now you can see this uh, is very sticky and it's like a I feel this is like a peanut butter jelly and uh, this much is left so I'm not going to add this one right now this is enough but I will add here some carrot it will add some moisture so first add some carrot and uh, add here raisins also same time I'm going to add half of this one half will be keep for next time for second batch and uh, I'm going to add here this pineapple so one and two so they have some moisture and that will be enough so I'm going to add all the carrots here so it's around all the 85 grams Now we have to keep mixing nicely. Now I can see it get a little bit wet. So at this time probably can add a little bit more. our dry ingredient so that we can all consume
and now this is ready to put it in the pan and you can here you can see uh, very closely there are many bubbles are coming which is nice so now you can see this is still wet and this time I can add everything so this is all my 200 gram of or purpose for and uh, now this will be ready to go on the baking plate so here I have uh, this is my pan which is around 8 inch I'm going to bake it here and first uh, I will apply some oil on the side and uh, we'll do some dusting with the uh, little bit so that it don't stick on the surface and now here I have this uh, wax paper In the wax paper, we'll add all our ingredients. And this is ready here. So we'll add all of that okay and then it's around one inch height and then we'll go to in the baking in the oven and now you can see my oven is already preheat so let's uh, set up for 30 5 30 minutes and then we'll bake this so we'll see after 35 minutes so let's see after 20 minutes how is it doing and here you can see it's nice it's almost it is still soft on the top and if I will poke with my knife is still wet so knife is still wet it needs some more baking so I'll just keep turn and then we'll set up more time here crank it more time and while it is baking let's uh, start our uh, whipping cream to make a uh, frosting on the top of the cake it will take some more time so while our cake is baking, let's uh, prepare our uh, frosting and for that here yeah, I am taking uh, salted butter and uh, this is salted butter 
and might be I have to take uh, more because it is less 8 tablespoon we need so I already kept it outside for some so that it can melt and then here I have one bowl of uh, powder sugar so I'm going to add probably one bowl rather than two and then uh, it will take some time but it, I will add some half of this first And then I'm going to add some whipped cream, which is uh, and now we have to mix it. So it will take some time it melt. Um, to melt this uh, butter and add sugar so we have to add all this sugar here and now we need to keep mixing as it will come at room temperature it will start mixing and uh, at the end we should not see any some more whipped cream now it's time to start mixing oops so we will keep mixing now you can see it's uh, butter is all, all melted If you have any electronic mixer, you can use that one, otherwise you have to mix a uh, lot. And the good thing is this, uh, once we will turn it upside down, it should not come out. So, until then we have to keep mixing. now let's check once again and it is all look like very swollen oh wow 3x mix big and it is almost ready so i will stop this and take it out from here since i added three eggs that is why it swells a lot and which is good you know it will give you very good taste actually and if I see, it's a little bit dry, but it's okay. Maybe five minutes more. So now this is our first batch is ready. So let's turn this. And here you can see. let it cool down then I will uh, cut into shape and then meanwhile I have to make one more batch of this so from back side still it has the wax paper so now I can see I turn it into this plate and this time my base become uh, like mountain and I have another one which is which is here so both become uh, mountain like mountain so it could be because I added too much uh, uh, egg three eggs rather than two or it could be because uh, my heating in this or maybe I have to use another pan so let's remove the paper wax paper from the bottom but it seems uh, very good no doubt so 
So now I have removed all the wax paper from the bottom of one of them. Let's remove from the another one. It's very easy. Just pull it. Now it's time to making a dressing. So I will cut uh, from the top, make a nice uh, So here you can see you can remove and this is so nice it's the, we can eat as such so this is my first base and uh, another one is also we can cut this also maybe i can cut a little bit from here And this is also very nice. Cut a little bit more. That's it. And then here you can see this is my frosting is ready. So after mixing all these and now we can start apply this frosting on here need to keep moving from one side so this is the one layer of the frosting and then I will keep this another layer on the top of this one so it's like a dumbbell shape cake. And now we'll put uh, on the top of this one. And then I will apply this on the some sides also.
we need to keep this in the freezer for some time so that uh, frosting can be nicely stick on this one and then I will add another color on this so now it's a little bit cold and then I would like to add some more frosting on the top of this one so that it looks good and smooth Now I'm going to add some color in my frosting. Here I have some food color. I will add a little bit. It will give uh, some red color. And that's it. So here you can see after adding this food color. So here you can see it has become kind of red color, add a little bit more. And now we will use this uh, colored frosting to decorate with this making our love cake to make a heart on this one We'll see how it will come. So now here you can see this nice carrot and pineapple cake is ready. If you see around this one, we have decorated nicely. All surrounding we put a colored frosting and let's cut one piece from here to see how this cake look like
Yeah. Oops. So here we have a nice inside and outside frost intake. Is ready. So let's see this one. You can see this one. And this is here. How beautiful inside. I hope you will enjoy this and thank you for watching.